Hey everyone, how's it going? Hopefully well. Today is Sunday, February 22nd, and I'm coming at you all with this video just because I wanted to say that I need to get back to the basics with my hair. Um, so it's been two weeks since I lastly washed my hair, and when I washed my hair, I did um, a black tea a black tea treatment along with um, a mixture of oils. So I had the black tea in my hair along with the oils and then I put a cap on that and I let that sit for like a good hour. Um, after the fact, my hair was moisturized, my hair wasn't dry. Um, when I touched my hair, you know, I can feel the moisture but at the same time I could feel the oils just nicely um, penetrating my hair. And then at the same time I also did um, perm rods in my hair. So I've had my hair like that for the past two weeks. And as you can see, um, you all saw me take those out. Um, the curls are definitely dropping, but in some areas you can still see that the curls are very like still very tight. And then um, pretty much I haven't had to do anything to my hair since then. The only thing that I've been doing is just shaking my hair in the morning and go. Like literally sleeping with a bonnet, shaking it out in the morning, wearing a headband or whatever, and then just going about my business. So just now I was looking through my hair and I'm like, oh, you know, what am I going to do with it? Because I'm not going to leave it like this um, where the curls are dropping. But um, I was looking and I noticed that I had some flaking. So when I washed my hair two weeks ago, I did not retwist my hair. Hence why my roots look the way they do. But um, like I noticed I had some flaking. I'm going to try to see if you can see that. But I don't know if you can see that, but. It's just dry scalp, like just really dry for no reason, like just dry, dry, dry. There you go. So right there, that's flaking. So I was like, oh my gosh, I don't like that. Um, my husband has locks and I know that there's been times where I would wash his hair and his scalp would have been so dry that like, you know, you could see the, um, the flakes, you know, almost like embedding in locks. Again, you know, with locks, you know, um, it's easier for things to get stuck in our hair and things like that. And the last thing, you know, we need to be getting stuck in our hair is flakes because of having a dry scalp. So I was sitting back and I'm like, what do I need to like, what do I do to get rid of it? And I'm like, you know what? I need to get back to the basics. Although my hair is now locked, that doesn't mean that I don't have to do, you know, um, take care of my scalp, making sure that my scalp isn't dry and things like that. And that's pretty much where I've been lacking. So I was just like, no, 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 I'm not washing my hair because I don't really feel the need to wash it. But at the same time, I want to take care of my scalp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, spray my hair lightly with um, some water. And this is the first time since my hair has been washed um, two weeks ago that I'm putting water on it. So I know in the department of like keeping my hair hydrated and stuff like that. I've been slacking. And the only reason why I didn't really like put water to it or anything was just because like I knew I wanted to keep the curls for as long as I could. But you know, if that means that I'm going to be walking around with a flaky scalp, then that's not cool. And I mean, I didn't really check all around my hair. I just noticed it like more in the front that it was just flaky, flaky like that. And I did not like that. So, um, the next thing that I'll do is I took a bottle, applicator bottle, and I put um, olive oil in there. I put um, lavender essential oil, tea tree oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, um, and a cup of castor oil, just whatever oils I could find. And I put them in here and I mixed it up. Because, again, I need to get back to the basics. Um, with it being winter, it's, you know, really cold outside. And I know I am not drinking. I, in the winter, I don't know about you guys. But in the winter, I have a really hard time drinking as much water as I know I should be. So I've been dealing with, like, dry skin, breaking nails. Um, as, as you can see, obviously, fake flaky scalp. So um, I was like, I got to do something for my hair. So my hair is not completely saturated, but it's enough to... Um, you know, it's not like soaking wet, but it's enough to like get the hydration back into it. So I'm going to take my applicator bottle and then I'm going to just um, oil up my scalp. I'm just going to try to get the lid off of that. All right. So I'm just going to take that and just 
get this oil all up in my scalp. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, you know, it's definitely important to keep your hair hydrated. Um, just because it's important. <laughs> you know, we don't realize, but it makes a big difference. And you can tell a big difference in a healthy head of hair opposed to a hair that isn't healthy because, you know, there's no hydration going on or, you know, um, you're not doing what you need to be doing to take care of your hair. So here I was just doing, you know, like, oh, if I get a treatment in once a month, I'm good. But technically, no, I'm not good because then I'm dealing with a flaky scalp and just my hair looking all sorts of dry. Like, you know, it's been a while since I last did anything to it. So, so as you can see, I'm just getting this all up in the scalp. And in terms of how often you should do this, I really don't know. You know, I think it really depends on your hair. Everybody's hair type is different. So again, where my last treatment was two weeks ago and seeing how two weeks later, my hair is just like, whoa, you know, like where's the water, where's the oil? You know what I mean? Like I would say maybe every two weeks in my case, uh, for some people it might be once, you know, once every three weeks, once a month. Um, you know, it really just depends on how, you know, how much moisture your hair retains, how much moisture your hair will drink up, you know. So it really depends. I say play it, you know, to play it safe. You know, so in my case, it's just listening to my hair, listening to my scalp. So it took me seeing that my scalp was all flaky for me to be like, okay, I need to get in and moisturize my hair because my hair needs it. So as I'm doing that, I'm just using the pads of my fingers to you know, rub that oil in. As you can see, my hand is oily. And I mean, I don't like having oily hair, you know, to the point where like you lean on something and you can see all the oil, but at the same time, like I need my hair to not be dry. So um, if you end up putting a lot of oil in your hair and then you let it sit for a while to penetrate, you can always follow up and just rinse it out <clears throat> with some warm water afterwards. And then right before you get out from you know the water I would just do like a quick cool cool rinse and just to kind of seal it in lock it in to your hair so I'm just trying to make sure I got all around my hair every area So now I'm going to just do this to get it some of that oil down the length of my hair, uh, the length of my locks as well. And I think I just about got everywhere. Just going to do a little bit more, make sure I covered every area. Again, just doing the same thing, raking my fingers. Through. So, as you can see, I lost my curls, but some of them just are not trying to go anywhere, which is fine, but definitely love doing the, um, the uh, perm rods on my hair. Like, it was nice to just chill back and not have to worry about what am I gonna do in the morning? Like, cause my hair kept that curl pattern for so long. It's pretty cool. All right, so I've oiled my hair enough. Now what I'm going to do is take my shower cap or a shower cap, whatever. I'm gonna put this on my head. And just get all the locks in it because remember I'm going right back to the basics and I really want to make sure that my hair obtains the moisture so now what you do now is really up to you and what you have at home 
Um, you can take a towel, wet the towel, and then put it on top of this. With um, I would do hot water, and then put it on top of this. I actually have the uh, hair therapy wrap. Um, so I'm gonna throw this in the microwave uh, for a minute, let it heat up, and then I'm gonna put it on top of my head. So then I'll come back, once I've let this sit for a while, I'll come back and just show you guys what my hair looks like um, after putting all this oil in it. All right, so I'll see you guys soon. Hey y'all, so I'm back. Um, I ended up washing my hair. So after I uh, put the oil in and my shower caps on, I went, I cooked, I was cleaning, I was doing a lot of things. But needless to say, I had oil dripping all down the, sound, the sides of my face, the back of my hair, around my neck. It was disgusting. So I was like, you know what, I think I'm going to rinse this out. Um, so I did. I rinsed my hair with warm water. And then after that, just to kind of shock my hair and um, lock it, lock that moisture in, I um, rinsed it then with cold water. So I literally, as you can see, I'm dripping because I'm like fresh out of the shower um, from doing this. But um, I definitely needed to rinse it out just because that oil was like dripping all over the place. Like I had oil everywhere. Um, and I was just like, I'm not trying to have oil, you know, dripping down my hair at work and, you know, all over my bedding and things like that. So um, this is what my hair looks like after I did that. <clears throat> So my hair feels good. It looks good. Still dripping very wet, but um, I definitely just wanted you all to see what it looked like after I did that. So as you can see, you can see my parting there. Um, nice little texture going on as well. But as you can see, there isn't really any more flaking. I believe this is where I had showed earlier, but. So you can't really see any of the flaking that I had going on before. So up close, as you can see. So no more flakes. Um, and that was my concern earlier, just that. All that flaking that was going on was really getting on my nerves but yeah so this is what my hair looks like after my oil treatment what I'm going to do now is I think I'm gonna put perm rods in again um, I definitely was liking just the curls and um, being able to like again just go in the morning in terms of you know when I woke up and things like that so I think I'm gonna put perm rods in again I'm gonna put my um, shirt back on my head and just like allow it to soak up a little bit more of the moisture and then um, that will be it so thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time bye